Okay, intensive practice 6.2. How to change this to a linear uh, equations? Then we can compare to y equals to mx plus c. So first, first options means you divide by x. It become y over x equals 5x plus 3. So how do you know this is a linear? So once you can compare to the equation y equal to mx plus c because this is equation of a straight line. So the gradient m and this is c. So if you were to draw the x axis is represented by x the y axis is y over x. But then this just one of the option. Is there any other option? Yes, that is if you divide every expression with x squared. So you can cut here, but then you have to divide by x squared also. Divide by x squared, so the answer will be y over x squared equals 5 plus. 3 over x. And it's better to rewrite this y over x squared equals 5 plus 3, 1 over x. Okay, so how is the graph will look like? This is y over x squared, this is 1 over x. So the n is 3, C is 5. It's the other way around. So, how do we know we have to do number 1 or number 2? It's actually, it depends on the question because for this chapter, you are comparing the one given and the other, other straight lines. We are comparing between two, right? So, sometimes you are given this and graph like this. So, you divide all by x. But then, sometimes you are given the original form and the graph like this. So, you divide all by x squared. So, how about if you are given y equal to p times square of x plus q over square of x. So, for example, you can multiply everything with square root of x. So it become y times square root of x equals p square root of x times square root of x plus q. Okay. Why is it plus q? Because I cut it here. So is there anything that you can simplify? Yes. y times square root of x equals to px plus q. So, if you were to draw, you are going to draw y times square root of x against x. So, the value of m is p and the value of c is q. y equals to ax to the power of b. How do we change to y equals to mx plus c? We use log. Log 10 y equals to log 10 ax to the power of b. Okay? And then, because this is a times b, so it become log 10 a plus log 10 x to the power of b. Okay. So the next, it will be, you bring down the b, so it become log 10a plus b log 10x. So here will be log 10y. So how if you are going to draw You are going to draw log 10y against 
log 10 x so the n is b and the c is log 10 a so how do i know which one is to represent gradient and which one is to represent y intercept it depends because of the axis here is log 10 x so the one married to log 10 x is b so b is the gradient and the other term because it is single without x is c question d x equals m x y plus n y so how do we make it into linear form so we have to eliminate one of the y okay so if we eliminate y we divide all by y so equation become x over y equals mx because we cut here cut also that plus n okay so what is important is on the right side here is comparable to this one so we draw xy against x so gradient is m c is n okay, now uh, one e y p to the power of x equals q how do we convert it to the linear form? First, you move all other terms to the right side and use log. Anyway, what is the indication that we know we have to use log? Whenever the power is an algebraic, it's not a number, not two or three. Okay, so then use log 10, y, log 10, q over p power x. Then using knowledge about log, you have to separate the term log 10, q minus log 10, p to the power of x. Then you have to move the x so it become log 10 q minus x log 10 p log 10 So here is the question that I have to write down um, everything in the sense that I will have to write down this is to represent y x is the x and then c is log 10 q so what is most important here and then student use usually to kind of mistake is that the m is negative log 10 p okay so the negative is not with x but with the m because usually we are going to draw axis is log 10 y against x not log 10 y against negative of x but it could happen it could happen if sometimes the 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 x axis is represented by negative x then the m will be log 10 p for f y bracket b minus x equals a x so sometimes instead of moving others you have to move the y what i mean by moving y you divide all by y so it become b minus x equals ax over y. 
So then, uh, if I were to rewrite, I will write down a x over y equals b minus x. Not to confuse. Okay. So then I would eliminate the a. How to eliminate the a? Um, because we have to make sure on one on one side there is only one y. There's no two y uh, on the left and the right side. So you divide all by a, divide by a, divide by a. So you, can, so you have x over y equals b over a minus x one over a. So, so which one is representing y? So this one. Which one is to represent x? Is x. So which one is to represent c? B over e. But 4m is negative 1 over e. Because usually we are going to draw x axis as x and y axis as x x over y okay so x here is only x so the gradient has to take the negative form 